Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and welcome to our giveaway results live stream. Hopefully this is all working and in a few moments we'll have a few people jumping in the chat and we'll be able to see if everything is working technology wise. We've got a few people joining already. Chris, Savory Bird and Rockzilla. Can you guys let me know if you can hear me and if you can see everything working just fine? Jazz in the chat and great Scott as well. We've got a bunch of people coming in now, which is great. WC, WCG Capone, howdy from Wyoming. We've got people all over the world joining in, which is exceptionally cool. People saying that they can hear, fantastic. That's always nice with my technology. Uh, I'm usually useless at these things, but we are here. So fantastic to have everyone in. Hope everyone in the UK is keeping cool on this very hot, hot weekend. In the UK, it is gonna get very, very hot very soon, which is quite scary for a lot of people. So lots of people in the chat. Joseph Jones, say hello to him. He's one of our moderators. Big thank you for all of your hard work on the channel. Uh, we've got uh, RacerX, Stefan Dimitrov, Brad W, Great Scott, Clayton Schemper, Lee DM, The Mank Stacker, Yellow Lighthouse, Jazz, Mike Wolf, Star Citizen. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And uh, thank you for, hopefully, you've all entered the giveaway. Uh, it is now technically closed. So I said five o'clock was the entry, um, the entry cutoff. So I hope everybody's got their entries in. I'm going to just make an update to the video now and say entries closed. I'll make sure as well, quickly behind the scenes, I see that uh, Great Scott has managed to just sneak one in literally at one minute to five. I'm going to let you in, but Great Scott is the last commenter that we are allowing on the giveaway. Got it in just now. So how is everyone doing? We've got 38 in. The plan for this little little live stream today is to uh, show the results, of course, for this puck that we have here, the 40,000 BYB subscriber puck. It's just actually come back from the assay office just yesterday. I sent it off last week and uh, it was a bit close whether it would come back. <laughs> Royal Mail had a day delay on the parcel, but Thank God it arrived in the morning. And as you can see here, we've got the beautiful, lovely hallmarks and they are stunning. And we've opted for the 70th mark, uh, the Jubilee mark for the Queen's Jubilee. It's not quite as clear uh, on, on this camera. It's pretty awful. And I need to just go in there and double clean it a little bit, but it is beautiful and uh, stunning hallmarks. There we have the BYB 40,000 subscriber, 400 grams of AG 47 puck. And that is going to be going to one lucky person in this stream. Hopefully it'll be somebody that's actually in the stream as well, which would be pretty cool. So I just wanted to uh, also take the opportunity to say a huge and massive thank you to everybody for watching, for enjoying, for looking at the stream, uh, for commenting on our videos. 40,000 subs is like, it's a lot of people. Like 40,000 is a big number and it's not something I ever thought I would like genuinely see. Um, you know, when I started my channel, I just wanted to have a few videos that I thought would be a bit of fun. And to get 40,000 subscribers is pretty mental, to be quite frank. So, um, you know, pat on the back, I guess, is an important thing. But also, you guys out there is what it's all about. Like, without all of you, then making things like this wouldn't have never happened. And making 40,000 subs would never have happened as well. So, um, a huge thank you. So we're gonna wait, of course, for uh, a little bit until we draw the actual winner of the prize. I would say we're probably gonna be about 20 minutes. Well, let's, let's do it now. Let's see, we're gonna do it at 20 past five. So 17 minutes from now, we're gonna draw the prize. But for now, we're just gonna hang out. Uh, I've got a few things I wanted to show, uh, which is kind of fun. So if you've got any questions, anything you wanted to ask or talk about, then please feel free to comment and let me know down in the chat. It's always nice to see. I don't do very many live streams, but when we do do them, it's always nice to interact with you guys and see what's happening happening, and see what's occurring. 
Now I've ignored the chat for a little bit, so I'm just going to go jump in there. And if you want to shout out as well, just say so, say hello. And I'll give you a shout out down in the chat. So Joseph Jones, channel member as well as moderator, showcasing the beautiful um, metal pyramid there, which is unfortunately up in Edinburgh right now. And I can't show it to you right now, Joseph, but he loves that pyramid. It's beautiful. Roxilla, channel member as well. The Puck wants to meet his brother. For those that don't know, Roxilla won our 30,000 subscriber giveaway. And we made a similar thing like this. It was a different style. We had our other BYB stamp, the BYB stamp that looks like this. And yes, I do just casually have a 30 ounce sphere of silver on my desk at the moment. The person who bought this is buying it over installments. So it's perfect for me because I get to keep this on my desk for the next couple of months before he's all done and dusted. Uh, but we, the 30,000 one was like that, but on a puck, which was cool. But I think we've gone one step better. So unfortunately, Roxilla, you've been outdone, my friend. Uh, Mike Harwood says hello. Uh, Nicholas Stanley says, how do we enter the giveaway? I'm afraid the giveaway has already been published and is now closed. We have recorded who the last entry was. I did put all of the rules in my original video, but we will be doing more, Nicholas, in time. So hopefully you can join one in the future. Um, we have got DTS coins in the chat unlocked. How do we enter as well? Same as the answer to Nicholas there. Uh, Joseph Jones already on it though, telling them how uh, he has done that. The Manx Stacker, how long has it taken to get to 40,000 subs? So I started in July 2016. So we're actually almost on our six year YouTube anniversary at the moment. In fact, I can probably work out from Social Blade exactly when my first upload was. July the 23rd, look at that. We are at just a week shy of the six year anniversary for our starting of videos. But little known fact, I actually started my journey on YouTube on a different channel and it was only after, uh, or a different channel name I should say, it was Silver Archery GB, uh, which is my Gmail account for those that have contacted me in the past. And I changed it to Backyard Bullion at the wise discretion of Mrs. Backyard Bullion who decided that that name was better than Silver Archery GB. And she was bloody right, let me tell you. So I owe all of this to her, of course. Uh, so yeah, that's how long, six years. It's taken a while, like, you know, when you measure it against some of the big boy YouTubers out there um, in the world with millions and millions of subs, you could argue that's not very good. But in the world of silver and gold, I think it's quite an achievement. And there's, there are bigger channels, of course there are. Um, but, you know, each is to their own with their own audience and their own style. And that's where I am. And I'm super happy that we've got that. So, uh, oh, we've got another uh, moderator in the chat, Darren Gallagher. Thank you so much for joining us, my friend. I'm sorry, I'm a bit, bit way back in the chat now, so I'm going to skip up a little bit. If you guys want to um, leave me a nice comment or ask me a question, if you use the at symbol and at Backyard Bullion, then I'll see it. It'll be highlighted, and then, of course, we'll be able to see it a lot quicker. Um, so I'm going to start with Cyclonic Silver with a big shout out to him, who said, hey, Backyard Bullion with the at symbol. So I saw it straight away. Mark Fairfield in the chat. Hello, my friend. Luke Dallison as well. You should be soaking up the sun. My friend, if I soak up the sun, I turn into a lobster, so I'll pass on that. Unlocked says that he thinks he's entered, but he can't remember, such bad memory. If we, brought, if we draw your name, then we know it was meant to be. Uh, Joseph Jones saying, gotta click that bell for the updates. Yes, my friend, you have, and subscribe as well. Jazz, are you looking forward to the mega heat wave? No, I hate it. I am not a heat person. Give me jumper weather any day of the week. Yes, please. Charles Dudley says, today is my birthday. That would be a great birthday gift. Well, fingers crossed for you, Charles. We'll see. I mean, there are, when I did the comment scrape, there are 583 people in there that have done it. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll see. Um, Mark Fairfield has, says, he's some lovely stuff from BYB. Well, Mark, you are going to be in for a treat. That little package has just arrived back from the Edinburgh office and it will be off to you first thing Monday. So, Cyclonic Silver, Backyard Bullion has made some amazing pieces and since his pieces are assayed, there is no sort, no sort of purity. Uh, no doubt of purity, I think you meant to make. Uh, congratulations on our success. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. Um, oh, and Roxilla with the, uh, the member for 17 months. 17 months, I think, since why I started memberships. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Chris B with the at Backyard Bullion, so I can see it, says, I just bought a six ounce poured heart. Chris and Nora. Oh, thanks, my friend. Yes, I, I remember making it. It's really cool. Um, that heart was pretty nice, and I'm really happy that you like it. So thank you. It's it's like really it's really nice and strange and weird at the same time though to uh, make these things, which then suddenly turn into people's treasured 
possessions. It's really humbling, but it is like I, I, I don't, I don't like. I don't know what's the right phrase. I get it, but I still don't get it. If you know what I mean, like for me, it's it's always just been something I've made and I've made a piece of silver and it looks nice. But for other people, it means of course more and that's one of the beautiful things about silver and gold and just everything for these things it can mean a whole lot more which is really interesting so that's that's very nice feedback thank you chris uh, unlocked says i'm interested in how you get the pieces hallmarked well uh, these little marks down at the bottom are the hallmarks themselves and it's a process by which you would literally finish the piece or even you don't have to finish the piece the, the piece can be unfinished before you send it up you you make it you pour it and then you send it up to the assay office and they will then test it so some pieces will get drilled. Uh, yes, drilled, you heard the right word. They'll drill a hole in it right to the center and they'll take a sample of silver. And then the, sil uh, the, the skilled silversmiths up there will actually be able to repair the hole. They fill it with silver again that they, of course, know is 909. And I don't think this was one that was tested because it was in a whole batch of other pieces. Uh, I have had a few pieces come back in the past where just for the very faintest mark, you can see a little hole that has been filled but on pieces like this you just would never see it and the same goes for the big spheres here you know they they sometimes will drill holes if they don't drill then they will put it through other tests xrf machines and the like and a whole host of other things so it's a process which usually takes around about a week depending on staff availability and of course you have to pay for the luxury as well um so now i'm, I'm neglecting the chat because I, I i ramble and i'm afraid it's uh it's a bit annoying. Thank you very much, moderators, for the uh, the quick moderation there on that uh, strange, strange account that's jumped in. Luke Dallison says, uh, at Backyard Bullion, how, how silver erected when the US is a second consecutive negative GDP quarter? Um, well, it went down, didn't it? Big drops in silver price. I mean, that's all we can say about that. Who knows where it will be Monday morning. Clark Jones says, I have to say I'm a late coming to the precious metal community and I'm horribly disappointed to see so much potential for silver in 2019 till now. It's a myth, PMs are a hedge. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hype out there, Clerk. Uh, it really is. And uh, unfortunately, in this world, hype is the thing that gets views and clicks and monetization and uh, lots of money for YouTubers. I don't like it, but I try and make grounded videos as best as I can. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, T the Silver Stacker in the chat. Hello, my friends. Uh, T says, Fakir Bullion, I did a collaboration video, not yet released with Silver Dragons, he mentioned you as a major influence. Thank you for letting me know, my friend, because it's right back at, well, both of you, to be quite frank. I, I'm inspired by anybody and everybody out there that's on the, um, or basically on the YouTube verse. Uh, it's just amazing that there are so many people that create, and I am to this day inspired to talk about different topics or create different things and products and everything from what I see out there. And that includes yourself, my friend. I enjoy your videos very much and Silver Dragons has some really interesting insights. He's been around a long time and he's of course one of the most successful silver tubers out there and to certainly extent, a lot of people, um, well myself included, aspire up to his heighty levels and I'd love to one day get to that 100,000 mark. 400 grams here for 400,000, sorry for 40,000 subs, love it for 400,000. If we get to 100,000 this piece will be a kilo uh, and a kilo will look like that. Here we go. There's another kilo. This is basically what I have out on my desk at any given time. It's uh, it's beautiful. Love it. So this is what will be something like this will be what we give away at the uh, at the hundred thousand k mark plus other things. I will be doing a huge celebration to get a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube and get that plaque from YouTube is a bucket list thing. And I, I let me tell you when I get there we will be not forgetting who helped us get there. Um, Mark Fairfield, everybody should check out your video making the chess set, making your chess set, yes, I think they should. If they haven't already, stunning, check it out. Chess set and board by BYB Senior, beautiful. Thank you, my friend, I really appreciate that. It, uh, it was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love doing those chess sets. Um, and we have uh, others on the go as well, so yeah, it's one of our coolest ideas, and, and to be fair, uh, I've wanted to do it ever since I started pouring silver, never got round to actually looking into it. And then one day I just said, you know what, I've been talking about this enough. I want to actually do it. So we did. Uh, David uh, Nyker says, what do you think of palladium and platinum? And will it follow the movement of gold and silver? 
who knows, my friend, I don't really know enough about Palladium and Platinum. They're just a bit outlying at the moment, so it, it is what it is. Uh, Rockzilla, uh, doing all of his wonderful things. Thank you, my friend. Um, Cyclonic Silver says, back your bullion, if you checked out what you've been doing, I make pieces out of clay and then make them into silver, letting my creativity flow, so to speak. I've seen a few of your videos, Cyclonic. Uh, you do some very beautiful work for sure. Um, I, I, as to be completely honest, as with a lot of other people, it's very hard to keep up with every single video that anybody and everybody would ever make, but I do try and watch as many as I can. And every now and again, I get a little glimpse of a beautiful thumbnail of some incredible looking silver from your channel. So uh, I do see the odd one, but it is very difficult to keep up with anything and everything on YouTube these days. Which is why I wanna say another big kind of thank you to everybody out here on YouTube who comments on our videos and supports the channel um, in whatever way you support it. And there are plenty of different ways that people can support our channel uh, through YouTube itself, through the, uh, you know, the memberships side of things. And a big shout out goes to any channel members, any and all channel members out there, Roxilla and Joseph Jones. Um, it really does make a, a, a difference. You know, little, little tips to say thank you is really appreciated, but it's not needed. And I would never, and it's why you don't see the memberships talked about in sort of every other video or every video that we do. Um, you know, we, we just have that there as a way that if you want to say thank you, you can. Uh, and that's really very cool and generous of everybody who does it, but it's not required by any stretch. Uh, the best way that anybody can ever support our channel is of course through things like our poured silver. Uh, and you know, I'd much rather in very many ways people buy our bits of poor silver because they'll get something that's, you know, of value at the other end. If you buy a t-shirt, for example, I mean, it's very nice that you would like to buy a t-shirt and we have those down in the Teespring link in all our videos. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a t-shirt and whilst the t-shirts on our, our page, I think are about 17 pounds for the UK, you know, it's a fair amount for a t-shirt in any stretch of the imagination and you get a t-shirt. But if you pay for a piece of silver, you get something of real value and that's the best way to do it. Um, and you know, we have like plen we have plenty of things that we're going on with at the moment. I've got them, these out here at the moment just to show as well. We've got the 100 gram silver forum bars and they're up live currently on the silver forum. We're going ahead with those right now. Uh, again, hallmarked by the asset office. So there are plenty of ways that you can support our channel and what we do um, without having to do things like YouTube super chats and stuff. I mean, if you want a super chat, go ahead. If you want to get your channel membership and have all of those emotes and those little uh, bits and bobs on your on your comments then by all means i'm not going to stop you but port silver is the best way to do it i'm just trying to gen gently balance my webcam up here now without knocking everything over there we go nice and balanced um so yes that's where we are with that uh, we're getting close to 20 past five, you know, guys, and we're going to be looking at drawing the winner at some point in the not too distant future. Um, so before we jump over to the YouTube comment picker, uh, we have just a couple more questions that I want to ask and answer. Joseph Jones says, I've seen dragons pour gold. Would you ever pour gold, BYB? I have poured gold before, Joseph Jones. Go and search my channel for gold pouring. If you search for gold, you'll probably find a lot of videos, but if you search for gold pouring, you'll see it. Um, We've now got Lee, Lee DM, he's saying at Backyard Bullion, do you not find it odd that silver is roughly an 80th of the value of gold weight for weight, but only nine times more common overall? So I read, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, my friend, I do find it odd, but I also don't think that silver will go back down to that ratio. Um, I think that we're in this strange modern world right now where silver is, um, is decidedly different in its ratio than it was in yesteryear. And that's simply down to the fact that it's more of an industrial metal than not. So that's my thinking on that. Welcome into the chat, Spanish Silver, another one of our moderators. Hello, my friend. Uh, Great Scott is in the chat as well. He was our last entrant into the, into the uh, YouTube draw. Now, what I want to just do quickly is double check my video because Great Scott was the last entrant. And I want to make sure that we don't have anybody else Yes, that's fine. Nobody else has gone in, which means that we are going to go over to YouTube Comment Picker and we're going to look to draw the winner in the not too distant future. So I think I've got all my ducks in a row, so to speak, for this software. So if I just click this wonderful button, 
we head on over to the YouTube Comment Picker website. And here we have plopped in the video. And actually, I just need to quickly refresh this because Great Scott has entered as well. So there we go, it went up by one to 584. So this is basically a very good website, commentpicker.com. It's filtered duplicate users because there were a few people who put uh, a few extra comments on just to say congratulations and stuff, uh, which is great. But this is a fantastic thing. So we've got 584 people in the uh, comment draw for the puck. So all I'm gonna have to do is press this start button. It's really very um, anticlimactic, so to speak. Uh, when I click this button, it'll like flash a bunch of names up for a few seconds and then we'll have our winner. So uh, it is gonna be slightly anticlimactic here. There's no massive drum rolls or anything, but we can look to do it. So uh, yeah, and Mark Jones makes a very good point before I click this button. Um, there might well be scammers that try and say whether you've won or not. And what I'm gonna be doing on this, so if, if for whatever reason we're lucky enough that the person who wins is in the chat, which would be great, then that's gonna be easy. We can just start linking up and stuff. But if not, what I'm gonna do is leave a comment against that person's name. Uh, and then when they get in touch with me, we'll go through a double check as well to make sure that they are in fact the owner of the account that won. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna draw um, two backup names after we've drawn the winner. So the first name you see is gonna be the winner. We're not gonna draw the backups first or anything like that. First name is gonna be the winner. Then we're gonna draw two backup winners. So if the first person doesn't get in touch for a week, perhaps, yeah, I think a week is a good number, a week, we'll be reaching out to second and then third. So that's pretty much where we're gonna be with that. And I wish you all the best of luck. So if you are all ready, Let's go, let's click start. I've done it, it's rolling. And the winner is Miser Mira. Congratulations on 40,000 subscriber and well done on your way to greater heights. Keep it up, buddy. Miser Mira has won. So a big congratulations to Miser Mira. And if they are in the chat, which I'm not sure they are, I haven't seen that name, but if not, then Congratulations to you. Now I will um, be leaving a comment on that and we'll see if they get in touch. What we're gonna do quite uh, quickly now is we're just gonna draw two more winners. Of course, if my Samira's name comes up again, we'll draw again. Uh, and these will be our backup winners. So this is our first backup winner. And our first backup winner is Adam Howe. I should probably write this down, shouldn't I? Just in case something happens. Let me grab a piece of paper. So Miser Mira was the winner. Adam Howe is second place. And it's no prize, unfortunately, for second place. And then our second backup winner is Mr. Tiller111. Fantastic. Okay, so those are our three names. Now, if for whatever reason all three people don't get back to uh, me, I will, of course... Uh, go and let me just hide this person that's sending silly things. Um, then if I can't reach out to any of them or people don't reach back to me, I'll of course re-roll re and we'll get another winner and I'll just announce it and get in touch with someone. So yeah, that's where we are with that. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to go now quickly and leave this comment on um, this person's. So hopefully we should be able to find Miser Mirror. Just trying to multitask, not trying to work, or not working as great. So here we go, Miser, Miser Mirror. Why isn't that showing up? All right, well, I'll do it after the stream perhaps because maybe I'm spelling it wrong. I think I probably am spelling it wrong, but hey, congratulations to, uh, oh, actually that's what I was spelling it wrong. I've just realized, let me just try one more time. There we go. So, Miser Mirror, congratulations. You have won. Please email to claim your prize, I guess. All right, so we'll see if they get in touch, but a big 
congratulations to them. So for the rest of this little live stream, we're just going to chill for a little bit. Maybe Miser Mirror will join the chat. But um, if you guys have anything that you'd like to ask or talk about uh, before we wrap up this chat, I don't have plans for it being too long a live stream because Mrs. Um, Mrs. Backyard Bullion is upstairs hiding away so that she's keeping the dogs quiet and uh, I, you know want to have the rest of the house back. I'm sure she does. So we'll be wrapping up in a little bit, but. A huge congratulations to uh, Mize and Mirror and to everybody out there for joining and for sharing. Uh, it's really humbling. And I do want to reiterate this message before we finish the live stream today. It's really humbling to have everybody's support. Um, and a big thank you needs to go out to everybody for all of that incredible support. Without all of you, this channel wouldn't be what it is. And that's just so humbling and so incredibly brilliant. So thank you. I love how we've just done the draw and We've lost 50, 50 different viewers, all gone. I get it, I understand, it's fine. But um, yeah. So, let's see the last. So Chris Savory Bird asks, can you promote your Bullion eBay page? No, my friend, it's a bit of a um, unpolite thing to do when you jump on somebody else's stream. Um, Silver Forever says, what's the biggest that you would ever go with a poured silver piece? The biggest that I've ever gone is 40 ounces for zero. Uh, which was in a shape like this, and that was the biggest that I've ever done. I don't think I'd go bigger, to because quite frank, pouring silver, certainly at those weights, gets rather dangerous. Uh, I've had spillages before, and that's been quite, you know, fire-related. It's not good. Um, fortunately, it's just the worktop, um, but you know, it's it's dangerous. It's heavy, it's hard to control, uh, and it's risky. So, yes, I definitely, um, definitely would say 40 ounces plus is dangerous. Cyclonic Silver, can you recommend a dining room table to use? I've seen yours has stood up the test of time. It has, my friend, this good old table. It's got a bit of a tablecloth on at the moment, but um, it really has stood to the test of time. It's it's one of these beautiful little things that we found in a bric-a-brac shop. And dad actually um, helped sand it down, create it in the beautiful finish that it's got. It was all black and dirty and not very nice. And so, yeah, he's... Um, He's sorted it out. So a huge and massive thank you to Dad. Um, D James Darvula in the chat, all the way on his holidays in Spain. Hello, my friend. Unfortunately, you were not the winner, but congratulations to, as, a, as I said, Meisenmeyer. Also, Adam Howe coming in second place, and Mr. Tiller 111 as well for third. So we'll see if uh, Meisenmeyer claims their prize. If not, then Adam Howe is the winner. Uh, Slip Streamer says I bought my first coin recently, Perth Mint, Tutankhamun, 100, 100 years since the tomb discovery. What do you reckon? I've, to be honest, I have not seen what it looks like, my friend. So um, I could not tell you what I think about it without seeing it in the flesh. Um, Mr. Tiller is 111 is in the chat. Mr. Tiller, you are our second backup. So it's unlikely, I'm afraid, that you will get that prize. But, you know, we have got you as the third place backup. Maybe. If two people don't check their messages, we'll get you this prize. So make sure that you keep an eye out. Um, perhaps if you want to just drop me an email anyway as that backup, then you can. Um, I'll put, in fact, I'll put it here in the chat for you. So if you just put uh, a little email together if you want, you don't have to, but if you want to, there you go. Um, EJKA Legal says, how can you avoid paying 20% VAT on buying silver in the UK? You can't. You have to buy it from a seller that is not fat registered. That's pretty much the only thing that you can do. Um, it's part of silver buying, unfortunately. Uh, or buy it secondhand from places like the Silver Forum. That's pretty much the only way to do it. Um, I'll just see. Just see, I wrote my email address, which is byb at Backyard Bullion. And of course, the at Backyard Bullion highlights it, so I get to see it. And I was like, oh, look, Backyard Bullion has written at me. And of course, it's me. So anyway, uh, yeah, Mark Fairfield's got it. He says, buy on the Silver Forum. That it, it really is the best place. Like today, I saw some people, uh, saw some one person, sorry, listing kilo bars of silver for 600 pounds, which is essentially that free silver. So uh, definitely worth checking out. Silver Forever says, who is my favorite gold silver video creator besides myself? That's a really difficult question to answer. Um, I can't, I suppose, hedge and say all of them because I guess that's not true. If you look at the volume of videos that I watch, 
I personally would say somebody like Silver Seeker or Yankee Stacking uh, it's probably going to be in the top spot I do watch those two quite a lot um, I find their styles really good and really insightful and different as well at the same time so I would say it's, a, it's going to be a close one as to exactly how many videos of each I've watched but I'd say probably one of the two Average stacker in the chat, flying visit for him. He just wanted to stop by and say thanks for the video and congrats on 40k. Thanks, my friend. And to be quite frank, whilst we're talking about favourite YouTubers, I've watched quite a lot of Average Stacker's video because he and I are brothers in arms against the crap quality control that comes out from the Royal Mint. Um, it's quite staggering, my friend, how many bad ones you've had, certainly against mine as well. So um, Joseph Jones says Yankee, Joker, Dragons, BYB and DY. DSS are top faves. Um, two is one. Two is one is another. I mean, there are just so many. Two is one is a great content creator. I only discovered him not that long ago, probably about five, six months ago. Um, I think I might have seen a few of his videos before, but I got into his videos a lot more uh, then too. So, yeah, there's loads to be quite frank. It's um, it is really, really a talented pool of people out there. So to be um, held up in Joseph Jones' list there and his top five is, or top four, I should say, is really uh, humbling. Thank you. Uh, Chris Savory Bird says, have you ever tried melting different purities of silver, sterling or 500? Yeah, right at the start of my silver pouring lifehood, I started pouring a little bit of sterling. And I also poured some of the uh, old 90% silver that dad had from the uh, 1970s Italian silver smithing uh, that he used to do, uh, which is really cool. So, yeah. I have poured others. It's not as good as pure silver, that's for sure. Um, I don't really enjoy it as much as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Average stacker that has taken a step back from raw mint because of QC. Such a shame. It is. It is. But hey, that's where we are. Right. We are now at half five. And Mrs. Backyard Balloon, I'm sure, will be counting the seconds before she's allowed back downstairs into the rest of her house. As I've turfed her upstairs to be out of the way. Um, thank you everyone again from the bottom of my heart really is like isn't it's so humbling and amazing to be able to do what I do and I love what I do and to be able to create videos and poured silver is amazing and it's only down to the fact that people watch like all of you fine people so thank you um, and I really do appreciate all 46 of you currently in the chat right now who've been watching this stream saw that you didn't win and then decided to hang around and stay around and watch if you are right now here in the chat then you are now officially a member of the BYB Rambling Society. Thank you, my friend. I really do appreciate it. So, have a fantastic week ahead. If you're in the UK, stay cool. It is hot out there and it's going to keep getting hotter as well. We'll see you on the next video. We've got some fun stuff lined up for next week. So we'll see you then. Thank you all for watching. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.